All right, Morgan here with winterwarfare.com where it does not matter what your rank is, the standards are the same. Uh, so in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at some of Outdoor Research Pro's cold weather glove systems and a few of their modular glove systems. Uh, so at winterwarfare.com, uh, we deal with United States Armed Forces, uh, we deal with SWAT teams, and we deal with guys who love freedom around the world who want to be better prepared to fight and win in the cold. Uh, so to get started, uh, every good commander, um, the c combatant arms, commanders is going to know Met T. And when you look at Met T, you're talking about terrain and weather. And it just so happens that terrain and weather are the single biggest physical factor impacting combat arms. So the cold weather discussion is always an extremely vital uh, discussion to have. Uh, it's, it's extremely critical to have the right gear, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. Um, so I'm going to look at a few um, tactical shooting gloves, insulated tactical shooting gloves, and then we'll move into some of the extreme cold weather uh, modular glove system. Uh, so to start off with, um, I'm going to show you the cold weather glove system liner. Um, so this is a standalone liner, uh, but it's meant to pair uh, with some of the tactical shooting gloves. It's a very thin glove that you could wear under some of the tactical shooting gloves. This is made in the USA. Uh, next on the list is the cold shot. This is the cold shot sensor glove. Uh, this is not made in the USA. Um, this is uh, uh, the, the pricing on this is a little bit cheaper uh, than some of the other outdoor research uh, pro uh, gloves. However, uh, this does have light insulation in it. Uh, it's wind resistant, water resistant, and uh, it does have a synthetic uh, leather on it. Uh, but again, it is a little bit uh, cheaper price. Uh, moving along the lines, and again, as we talk about some of these tactical uh, shooting gloves, I want you to keep in mind the, the uh, cold weather glove system liner. Uh, that can pair under all of these. Uh, next in the lineup is the convoy sensor. Uh, this is a glove made in the USA. These are very heavy duty. Um, I, I mean, they're, they're a tactical glove, but they feel very good. Uh, they have a leather palm. Um, they have light insulation. Uh, the cool thing about this glove is it's got a Gore-Tex membrane in there. Um, so I've had these on, they feel very good. Um, there's also a, a, you know, a, a strap loop or a, a buckle loop um, to either help pull these on and or to um, you know, strap them to your equipment when you're not in use. Uh, next uh, up is the, uh, this is part of the modular glove system. So when you look at uh, Outdoor Research Pro, they have the cold weather glove system. And typically what I've seen with the cold weather glove system is it's a lot more of the kind of the smaller gloves. Uh, again, they are systems, uh, which is important when you're dealing with the cold. Again, when we talk about dealing with uh, cold weather, uh, typically what we see is, is at extreme cold temperatures, it's not one thing that's going to be the silver bullet to uh, do it all. So. When you look at the Outdoor uh, Research Pro's uh, cold weather glove system, um, a lot of times you're dealing with their uh, tactical shooting gloves. Uh, but again, that's why I, I mentioned this um, cold weather glove liner that can go under anything. The modular glove systems, your tactical shooting gloves. Um, so let's get back to the modular glove system. So in the modular glove system, there's different components to that. And this is where we uh, look at the extreme cold weather uh, type glove uh, that guys in the extreme cold are going to need. But it is pretty cool because there's several different components that you can mix, mix and match and get all the way up to waterproof, uh, waterproof Gore-Tex layering, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so this is the uh, modular glove system soft, uh, soft, soft shell uh, leather. Uh, they call it leather because it's got a uh, leather palm. Um, this has got a Dura stretch. And the Dura stretch is, it's kind of like a neoprene feel. And so what these gloves are actually for is, is like your cold, damp places, uh, your cool, damp, wet places. Um, so this soft shell glove, uh, again, be, being that it's got like that neoprene, um, they technically call it Dura stretch. Um, it does have the, the, the leather palm, but it's, it's uh, 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 very form fitting, uh, very, um, very dexterous, I guess you could say. Um, it fits very well. Um, and then I'm going to show you the uh, out, outer shell that can go over this in a second. 
So moving up in the modular glove system, this is the modular glove system insulated liner. Um, so this glove is meant to, it can be a standalone glove and I would, generally what I would try to say about this glove is, um, you know, it's, it's almost like just your standard, what, you know, guys might think of as a ski glove, okay? But um, this has got a nylon shell, a uh, ripstop nylon shell. Um, it does have um, uh, fingered padding for touch screens and stuff like that. And again, this insulated, uh, the modular glove system insulated um, uh, shell, um, this is meant to go under uh, the next layer that I'm gonna show you. So this is the insulated, the extreme insulated uh, part of the uh, modular glove system. So uh, lastly is the modular glove system uh, shell, uh, which this comes in just a normal uh, five finger uh, glove. Um, I would, I, what I would wanna say about this, this is like a, this is like a bivy, okay? It's like a bivy for your gloves, uh, for your, you know, like, a, again, if we go back to the insulated shell, um, if you thought of that as kind of like just a ski glove, uh, this is gonna, this is gonna up, that, up that significantly. So what this shell is, this shell is not insulated at all, but this is heavy duty Gore-Tex ripstop material. Um, you have a uh, cinch strap on here. The palm is a, a very, um, I mean, it's like gecko skin. It's, it's very, very tough, but uh, grippy as well. And so the cool thing that some guys out there might want to think about with um, modular glove system uh, shell, the liner. Um, and again, these are also made in the USA. I do need to mention that. Uh, let's just say you did, uh, say you were a guy out there who just wanted to be more prepared. You just had a pair of ski gloves. Uh, you could get the shell and actually put it over there and now all of a sudden you are waterproof uh, with the uh, OCP camo. So one thing that uh, I'll mention too for SWAT guys out there. So another thing that I'm actually wearing, um, not to distract from the conversa conversation, but sometimes we're talking about equipment pairing. And uh, what I'm actually wearing right now is my UF Pro Delta Ace Gen 2 jacket. And so what this jacket is actually made to wear under a plate carrier, it's an insulated jacket. I've personally had this thing on um, to about 15 degrees in Idaho. It's great for tactical movement. It's got uh, shoulder pads. But what I was gonna mention to maybe SWAT guys out there is that these Convoy sensor gloves, um, this is just my opinion. There's a lot of different options on the uh, Outdoor Research Pro gloves. Um, these are, again, the Convoy sensor glove has a Gore-Tex membrane in there. You pair those with this UF Pro uh, Delta Ace uh, Gen 2 jacket, and you're going to go pretty far um, in the cold and semi, you know, semi damp uh, areas, uh, which is, you know, most of the time of the year. Um, so that might be a thought for uh, some of you guys out there. Um, so I think that's about it. I want to wrap this up. Um, again, uh, you could check out our website at winterwarfare.com, uh, where we have a, a wide selection of winter tactical gear, uh, for, you know, a lot of guys out there that, uh, you know, need this equipment. And so with that, uh, Morgan out. <laughs>